Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. Now, Chris Tomlin and I wanted to take a look at some of the other teams that are in the South bracket with Kentucky. Just some interesting facts about these institutions so you could get to know them better. For instance, Kentucky's first opponent, Davidson. Of course, named after the famous John Davidson of That's Incredible. That's right, Lee. And of course, a lot of people don't know that Davidson School has an honor code, which means that students are able to schedule their own tests, take them in the building whenever they want, wherever they want, and get up and walk around if they so choose. I'm sure that works out great. I'm sure it's doing great. You know, kind of like a Netflix agreement. <laughs> yeah, and the first x-rays in America were taken by three Davidson College students who bribed a janitor to sneak into a physics lab back in 1896. Their students needed to get their friend checked out after an extreme biking accident. That's called a straddle injury. Ooh, that looks painful, I think. Now, the cake race is also from Davidson. It was established in 1930 by a track coach who was scouting for a new talent by having all the freshmen run a 1.7 mile course through town, and the top winners received a cake of their choosing. Now, Lee, this also explains why Chris Christie has lettered in track at Davidson for the last 34 years. That, and uh, Davidson's team is known as the Wildcats. But at one point, they were referred to as both the Presbyterians and the Preachers. And fans at that time, uh, they called the team's defense 40 minutes of fire and brimstone. And their pep band had renditions of just a closer walk with thee and what a friend we have in Jesus. Used to really get them fired up. Famous alum from Davidson, they have them. Steph Curry attended Davidson, and Patricia Cornwell also is a graduate of Davidson. Now, you know both of these guys. One of these has an unbelievable step back three and a great crossover, and the other, of course, is Steph Curry. Arizona also has its share of famous alumni, including trainer Bob Baffert, New England Patriot Rob Gronkowski, director Jerry Bruckheimer, and SNL alum Kristen Wiig. We reached out to Kristen Wiig for comment, and she had this to say. Go Wildcats! The Wildcat mascots, they have two. Wilbur and Wilma, they were married on November 21st, 1986. Those who were there recall it being a magical night, even though the wedding reception was crazy with catnip and the whole place smelled like ammonia. I remember that night well, Lee. It was a good time. It was a good well, time. Now, also, according to the website capex.com, your chances of getting into the University of Arizona are 75%, which explains why their school's admissions page says, can you find Tucson? You're good. Uh, let's move over to the University at Buffalo. Now, those guys got to the NCAA tournament by beating Toledo to win the Mid-American Conference Tournament Championship, but, of course, I don't have to tell you that because... That game was the most watched game ever on closed circuit television at the Quicken Loans Arena in Concourse B. And of course, the great CNN anchor Wolf Blitzer is an alum of the University at Buffalo. Uh, who can remember those great days back at the University of Buffalo dorms in Wolf Blitzer's Situation Room? Thanks to Chris and Lee for all that information. It's certainly going to help me. Now, you can play our Hey Kentucky Bracket Challenge. As a matter of fact, we'd like you to do it. You can win canes for a year. That's pretty good. So go to HeyKentucky.com, sign up for the Bracket Challenge. Drew and I just filled out ours today. Who you got winning? Uh, I can't tell you, but you'll definitely beat me if you sign up and play. That's I know right. that much. HeyKentucky.com, you can compete against all the people you see on the show. Just beat Ricky Jones. That's the key. You don't want to lose He took Louisville, so it shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs>